get ready. With it being such a large and historic park, there are definitely a few Alton Towers facts that some people won't know. With that being said, however, Alton Towers has a very loyal and dedicated fan base, and we're very aware that the park has some very diehard fans. But we've tried to source some interesting facts and tidbits that will hopefully interest and intrigue a wide spectrum of theme park goers. But before we jump into the video, we'd like to take this time to remind you to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And with that said, let's jump into some Alton Towers facts. Get ready. Number 7. Military History At this rate, many people will probably know that Alton Towers originally was a former stately home for the Earl of Shrewsbury. The towers that you see today were used to house the Earls from 1412 until 1924. Following this, the area was purchased by a group of local businessmen who then transformed the land into public gardens. However, the real interesting aspect during this timeline was that Alton Towers was requisitioned by the War Office as an officer training unit during World War II. The Ministry of Defence actually possessed the land up until 1951, six years after the war ended. It was then returned to its previous owners, where the gardens were reopened to the public. It would then operate this way until it eventually became the theme park we know today in 1980. Number 6. Size Matters The first time you ever visit Alton Towers, you are most likely taken aback by the sheer size of the park. Walking through the main entrance, you're not exactly greeted by the park's complete sightline. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's commonly known that Alton Towers must keep their roller coasters below the tree line, so it's mostly hidden in the natural environment. But this isn't the only reason you can't take in the full view of the park as you enter. It's simply because the park itself is absolutely massive. One of the most interesting of the Alton Towers facts is that the park is 3.7 kilometers squared, or 914 acres. To put this into perspective, Magic Kingdom is an adequately sized park. However, it's a mere 107 acres, making Alton Towers 8.5 times larger than the Disney World Park. Number 5. Haunted Towers As previously mentioned, the history of the park dates all the way back to 1412. It's therefore probably no surprise that Alton Towers has acquired quite a few legends over the years. We even touched on the dark history of the Hex attraction in our Hidden Gems video for this park. But to add to this, there are several reports of spooky happenings in Alton Towers, with many speculating that it's actually haunted. The queue for Hex, which is located in the mansion's old armory, is said to be a hotspot for paranormal activity. People in line have reported to have seen ghostly children dressed in Victorian clothing. Another common occurrence is that a lady dressed in a long dress has been spotted walking through the corridors of the mansion. A strong scent of perfume is also said to be present in these rooms. Number 4. Indoor Sunburn While the theme park often takes a spotlight of the resort, Alton Towers also has its own indoor water park. This part of the resort, along with its hotel and other amenities, mean that you can clearly spend a few days at Alton Towers. Considering the UK climate, it makes sense that a water park would be indoors. But if you're a fan of the sun, Alton Towers still has you covered. The roof of the water park is actually made of glass, offering a view of the sky, but also allowing for the sunlight to come in. The glass used doesn't actually block out ultraviolet rays. This means that despite it being indoors, you can still enjoy a traditional water park experience. Grab a sun lounger and soak up some sun, as long as it's not too cloudy out. You just might want to pack that sun cream though. Number 3. Imaginative Marketing Many of the Alton Towers attractions are specifically made to be the first of a kind or some sort of record breaker. For example, Galactica was the first ever B&M flying coaster, the Smiler holds the world record for most inversions with 14, and Oblivion was the world's first dive coaster. These make up a big part of the overall marketing strategy for the park. But another Alton Towers fact is the lengths that the resort goes to advertise its attractions. To tie in with the opening of Oblivion for example, Alton Towers linked up with Lynx to create its own brand of deodorant. Similarly, for the launch of 13, Alton Towers announced that riders must be over 16 and sign a waiver due to how terrifying it was. Rita also received a name change to Camilla Queen of Speed to celebrate the marriage of Prince Charles to Camilla Parker Bowles. Number 2. The Welcoming Welcome In Speaking of imaginative marketing, 
One of the Alton Terrace facts people might not be aware of is the backstory to the Welcome Inn. The Welcome Inn is a pub found beside Wickerman, but it's actually closely tied to the theme and background of the coaster. Before Wickerman was announced, the 2017 Scarefest saw a scare maze titled The Welcoming be chosen. This brought guests through a pagan settlement filled with primitive humans and ritualistic sacrifice. Does that sound familiar? Well it should because The Welcoming was essentially a teaser for the coaster. The Welcome Inn was later opened as an extension to the story. The name is actually a pun hearkening back to the original maze. This further highlights the layered planning and storytelling that Autumn Towers has used. Number 1. Nemesis Backstory And further to our discussion of detailed and layered storytelling, did you know that Nemesis not only looks amazing, but also has some immersive lore behind it? While the ride experience aesthetic properties often get the most praise, Nemesis backstory is a unique feature that warrants more appreciation. The story goes that during maintenance on another project in the area, Nemesis was disturbed. This is an alien that has existed beneath the land of Autumn Towers after crash landing on Earth 2 million years ago. As the alien was uncovered, it caused havoc and destruction in this area of the park. Autumn Towers finally managed to contain the monster in 250 tons of steel and created a roller coaster from it, which you see today. The full backstory was also elaborated further in a comic that was released and sold during its opening year in 1994. While the roller coaster is highly considered as one of the best inverts in the world, you don't hear much about the theme or story. The layout is also unique as Autumn Towers had to build down into the ground. They use TNT to create the trenches that give way to the many near misses and intense elements that make it so good. But if you know us, then you know it's the theming and story we often appreciate the most. It's just a shame that many will go on this amazing coaster and not know the full story behind it. For more information behind the deep theming of Wickerman, check out our What Makes This Ride So Good entry for the ride, which will be on screen now. What other facts do you know about Autumn Towers that you think others should hear? Leave a comment down below and share them with other viewers. Now you're ready 